Welcome to Zeiss Pi Web Monitor. Pi Web Monitor is the visualization module for interactive reports. It is used to view measurement data on reports and quickly analyze the data through interactive tools and statistical functions. In this video, we will do an overview and general navigation of Pi Web Monitor. Some of the most relevant Pi Web Monitor functions we will review are the presentation of measurement results on the interactive CAD view, filtering of measurements, measurement selection, and some calculation of statistical parameters. After installing PyWeb, open the Zeiss Quality Suite to launch PyWeb Monitor. Under My Applications, find Zeiss PyWeb and select the PyWeb Monitor module. Click on Start. Alternatively, you can start it via the Microsoft Windows Start menu or via a shortcut on the desktop. If you're launching Pi Web Monitor for the first time, the interface will open directly on the Examples Report section, where you can do a quick report selection. Otherwise, the Start page will go to the Recent Reports list. The user interface has a quick selection menu to find the report you intend to visualize. You can select one of the recent reports, one of the generic reports, or one of the reports stored on your Pi Web server. You can also find a report by clicking on Open Report or drag and drop reports into Pi Web Monitor to open them. Let's open one of the reports in the Examples section. Let's click on the sheet metal part. To open a report, simply click on the icon of the report. This is a part specific report in which the data for display has been predefined on each page. If you want to evaluate different parts, use a generic report. We'll talk about this in a moment. To return to the main menu, click on the home icon located in the top menu. If you press the green arrow on the right top corner or the F9 key, you will return to the report view. If the report has a menu, you can navigate to pages of interest through the options on this page. You can also index to the next or previous pages with the arrows at the top. Enter a specific page number, for example, page 4. Or visualize all the pages of the report by clicking the window icon next to the arrows and make a quick selection. To take a closer look at areas of interest, you can zoom using the top right-hand corner option or by using Control plus Mouse Wheel. The data binding on the elements displayed is specific to certain characteristics. On the left, we have the option to select the measurement data displayed on the report. The options here may be different as the selection can be customized based on your needs and preferences. You can choose from a specific number of recent measurements, select by date and time, or by measurement attribute. You can also select measurements by direct selection. Here you have full control of the evaluated measurements. For example, let's increase the number to display the last 200 measurements. Notice the display of my page updates as soon as I make the change. Now, let's try to display measurements from a specific date range. We want to see the last two months after the last measurement. Let's review measurements with a specific measurement attribute. For example, all measurements from batch 5. With direct selection, you can select the measurement records of interest directly by holding down the mouse. Or if you want to select multiple measurement records, use the control or shift key and the left mouse button. You have full control over the specific data selection. You can filter data by other attributes. This list can be customized as needed. If you need to fine tune the data selection, these filters will give you control over the visualization. For example, I can select a specific batch number from the drop down menu to filter my data. If the desired attribute is not available, open Configure Measurement Selection by clicking on the toolbar menu list at the top and customize the list of filters as needed. 
For example, add the inspection tool attribute and move it to the top of the list. Now, it is another option you can filter by in Pi Web Monitor. If you want to make this change permanent, you need to update the report in Pi Web Designer. To visualize differences in your production, Pi Web Monitor offers options to group and separate the data based on attribute information. For example, we can clearly see the data set per batch. Let's increase our measurement selection to the last 1,000 measurements. To group the data, select Separate Data, instead of No Grouping under Special Evaluation. Then select the attribute for grouping, in this case Batch. The report will display the data grouped by color based on the attribute selected. Compare the data with the option Separate Data No Gaps, or view the data in a box plot selecting the Group Data option. We can display additional information related to the data in our data selection using the Info Mode function. Press the Control key on your keyboard, and notice how your cursor gets a question mark next to it, turning your mouse into an informational tool. Click on any data point on a chart or diagram to display the Info Mode window. For example, the box plot for batch 6, with 169 measured values, has the largest range of approximately 0.158 mm. The Info Mode can also be activated by going to the Tools menu and selecting Info Mode. Another native function in Pi Web Monitor that allows you to visualize the data in other formats is called Detail Pages. To open it, right-click the data element or individual characteristic you'd like to evaluate. A window with additional report options will be displayed for your selection. In this window, you have access to advanced statistics and other data analysis tools. For example, on the Detail Pages section, select a bar chart presentation, histogram, or a control chart to display the data from the source report on the selected template. To go back to the original report, click on the blue arrow in the toolbar. You will find a description of the individual detail pages in the tech guide. To access the tech guide, go to the help menu and select Open Zeiss Quality Tech Guide. In the tech guide, you will find further resources and function description of Pi Web. To manually select the data you want to display on a report, you can use a generic report and select the part you want to work with. Go back to the Start menu by clicking on the Home icon and select the Generic section. You have a variety of options here. To keep your reports organized, you can group them by clicking on one of the options from the drop-down menu on the top right corner. For example, you can use the option by Report Group to organize the list. Let's pick up a report from the list. For example, Characteristic Table with Statistical Data Report. Upon selection, a generic report automatically connects to the Pi Web Server connection, defined as your default database where your measurement data is stored. A default connection can be defined by creating it the first time you open Pi Web Monitor via the Connection Overview dialog on the left hand side. You can connect to a Pi Web server in your network or connect to your Pi Web cloud. The connection can be saved as favorite by right clicking on it and selecting. Save connection as favorite. However, for this starter guide video, we'll connect to the training data provided, which is a database file. To do that, select More, then Open File, and select QDB File to open the training data file. Now, if you selected the wrong database connection or want to change it, even from the database file to an actual Pi web server, click on the Configuration Data Source icon. Select Connections, then Show Connections. This opens the Connection Overview again. Here you can create a new favorite under the More tab or edit an existing connection by right-clicking it. Refer to the Pi Web Basic Training for more information. After selecting the desired report, on the left-hand side you see the area where to select the data for display. You may select the full inspection plan 
by clicking on the checkbox at the part level, which is the third level in this case, but it can be further down in the structure. Or select individual characteristics from the list to display them. You can combine one or more inspection plans or elements in a report. As you can see on the right, the report generates the elements for each individual characteristic and calculates statistical parameters for them. You can modify the selection as needed on any generic report. By having the data binding selection visible, we have the option to do advanced sorting and filtering. You will find the icons on the lower right section of the data binding area. The funnel icon represents the advanced filtering option, and the arrows icon represents the advanced sorting function. We can sort our characteristics by tolerance utilization. Add a sort option and select sorting by limit usage in descending order. The display on the report is updated automatically. You can see the characteristics with the highest limit utilization at the top. You can further fine tune the display by using the advanced filter option. To display only characteristics outside of tolerance, for example, add a filter option and select characteristics out of limit. The measurement selection works the same as with any other report. Choose from a specific number of recent measurements, select by date and time, by measurement attribute, or select measurements by direct selection to get full control of the data being evaluated. PyWeb Monitor is the best module to learn the analysis power of PyWeb. Feel free to explore the generic reports and examples. That's it for this brief introduction to PyWeb Monitor. We explored the software interface and learned how to use reports. We learned how to customize the measurement selection and add filtering and sorting options. In the next video, I will show you how to customize reports with PyWeb Designer. You will get an introduction to the user interface and get to know tools that help you start your PyWeb journey at a designer level. To book a more comprehensive PyWeb training, use our contact form. You will find the link in the description.